we're going to be walking through how you can use Open Policy Agent or OPA. And so at a high level, OPA is a service that you are running in order to check JSON inputs. And what we're going to do in this video is basically walk through a sample JSON input file that you can give it. And we're also going to be providing OPA with a rego or uh, REGO uh, rule. And so that's another file that we define separately where we're going to basically say what we're going to allow and disallow inside of a JSON file. So we're gonna get started. And to make this as easy as I can to follow and just get started if you're new to all this stuff, um, I'm gonna be using Docker for all this. So as long as you've got Docker running on your Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, whatever, um, you can just run these Docker files to get started with it. So the very first thing you're gonna do is, um, and you're gonna clone this repo, I'll provide a link on GitHub, uh, but we have this readme. So I'm basically just gonna be following these steps uh, to get into it. So first command we'll run is docker compose up tac tac build. This will go through the process of downloading the layers uh, from Docker Hub that it needs to actually run the Docker container. And you can see right now that what's going on is we now have the open policy agent service running on our machine. So if I open up a browser window right here and I go to localhost port 8181, we are getting a response now from OPA, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna move this aside and um, we're not really gonna need to do anything with that. Uh, so I can just close that, but that's just to verify that it's running the way we expect it to. In VS Code, I'm going to open up another uh, terminal window here. And now what we're gonna be doing is basically telling OPA what rule I want to have it include in its policies when it is evaluating a JSON input. So you have to do this before you give it the JSON, otherwise there's no rule to even look at. So um, inside of this repo, we have a uh, rego file here called accesspolicy.rego. And so um, inside of this, uh, you can see that it's going to say that it's gonna check inside of your JSON file if you have a field named input uh, and another field named age, it's gonna confirm that that is greater than or equal to 18. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my readme again and we're going to basically run this curl command and uh, give me one second. I'm going to run this guy. And you can see that it doesn't give us back any return object. That means it was successful. But in order to actually validate that the uh, policy has made it in, or your rule has now made it into that policy, you're going to run this other command to basically uh, just send a get request to uh, the policy's endpoint. And so you can see it spits back a JSON thing. And in here, if you recall, uh, we were saying that, you know, there's this age and it has to be greater than or equal to 18. And you can see if you read through here, it's checking to make sure that um, you know, it's doing comparison basically on what is going on inside that file. So you can dive deep into rego syntax, um, but for the sake of just getting started, you know, we're gonna keep everything as simple as we can. Um, and then finally, what I have here is this input.json file. And so inside of this JSON file, um, I have a field named input, and then another subfield for age, and then age right now has a value of 15. And so um, I've already saved this guy. And finally, what we're gonna do here is we're going to run this final curl command. And basically what's happening inside of this is we are going to be posting to the OPA service the JSON file that we just looked at, input.json. And I'm going to be saying, check if this is compliant with the allow access rego file uh, or policy that we just gave it. So um, after you run this command, you can see it's gonna come back and it's gonna tell you something like result equals false or something like that. So basically it's telling you that in this specific instance, it failed because if you recall our rule, it said age had to be greater than or equal to 18, but we passed it uh, an, a value of 15. And then you can come back here and you can try you know, a different value to make sure that your control negative and control positive cases are both what you expect them to be. So I'll do 19 here. I'll save this file and then I'll just rerun that command. You can see that now it is telling us that the result of evaluating this JSON input is true. So um, that is the gist of it to just get started. Obviously we can start building on this. So any kind of JSON input you have um, in application security, we are using this for basically evaluating the Terraform uh, output after you do plan if you convert that to a JSON you can now get some pretty you know cool little rego rules looking at how to you know check if public access is enabled or something like that so um, you know you can start building on this a lot but just for the sake of getting started in a quick start guide 
Um, I hope this is helpful stuff because it took me a while to get this figured out. So um, yeah, all this stuff's public. You guys can check it out. Hope this is helpful stuff. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and be well.